Christmas Conversion by Jean Blewett. I can see her in the kitchen, apron on and sleeves rolled up, measuring spices in a teaspoon, figs and raisins in a cup. Now she's throwing apple quarters in that wooden bowl of hers, along with lemon peels and oranges, and she stirs and stirs and stirs. Then she takes her knife, chops it, chops it so fast her hand just flies. Now I know what Ma is up to, making mincemeat for the pies. I smell Christmas in our kitchen, and my heart goes big and glad, and I somehow fall to wishing that I wasn't quite so bad. And I tell myself I'll never cheat at marbles anymore, nor make faces at my teacher, nor hang round that corner store. Instead of going on my errands, never touch that cookie pail, nor play hooky and go skating, nor tie cans round Rover's tail. Never let my mom think it's spellings when it's only Robin Hood. With the gladness comes the wishing to be, oh, just awfully good. About this time of year it takes me. Pa, he doesn't understand. Always says, you sly young codger, you know Christmas is at hand. But it isn't that, it's something. Can't explain it very well. It takes me when my ma fills the kitchen with this juicy Christmas spell. When she chops the spices and raisins with peels and northern spies, sleeves rolled up above her elbows, making mincemeat for the pie.